welcome to this video we are going to listen to the greatest speech of eric thomas take full responsibility without wasting your time let's start the video i want you to think about what level you want are you giving 90 80 70 listen to what i'm saying for a minute and most of y'all know me you know me from where like where would you know me from social media where would you know me from say it again social media yeah, I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Watch this. I get 120. So I just got up eight years ago. I'm sorry, 12 years ago, just started getting online. It was a recession at the time. And I saw what was going on in America. I'm from Detroit. GM, Chrysler, Ford went down. People started going to the casinos, shooting themselves, killing themselves. I was like, I got a gift. I'm just going to get online and kill it. Every Monday, I would get up. Thank God it's Monday. Kill it. Nike never sponsored me. Adidas never sponsored me. Under Armour never sponsored me. I get up every Monday and get a world something. Then it got crazy. I start meeting people and people be like, yo, ET, what up? Thank God it's money. I'm like, ooh, they feeling this. So then I start doing it every day. <laughs> and then I start realizing cats is really feeling this. And I started doing it three times a day. You wake up and get three videos from me. You don't pay a dime for it. That's 120. Ain't nobody paying me, but I'm giving it out year after year after year. Boom, commercials. Year after year, meek like E, I want to put you on my album. Year after year after year, I'm I, international. Year after year after year, I'm putting in that work and I wake up one day. And what number am I as a speaker? Am I number 10 in the world? My number five in the world, just take a guess what number you think I am. Number one in the world. I passed Tony Robbins, Les Brown, Zig Ziglar. Nobody paid me to do this. I just got up and gave 120%. And when you give 120, that's what happened. You become number one in the world. I want to ask you a question, seriously. What percentage are you giving? So we're going to start here. You're like, yeah, I'm giving 120, bro. I don't got no more to get at Panthers. I, I gave everything I got. I have no more to give. Like, I really put 120 into this. Do me a favor, don't lie, because we're not giving out no awards for this. So raise your hand if you're giving 120. Like, I ain't got no more to give, E. Good. I see you. I see you, E. I'm giving, I'm giving 100, E. I, I know I got, I'm just doing at least what coach want me to do. I'm doing everything coach want me to do. Good, hands down. I'm giving about 90%, E. I'm going to be real. I'm giving about 90%. Let me see your hand. Yep, I feel you. I see you. Yep. E, I'm talented, bro. I'm for real, for real. I, I know I look sweet out there, but I'm probably giving about 80% of my effort. Let me see your hands. I'm giving about 80%. Let me see your hand. 70%. Let me see your hand. All right, let's go back because I saw some people didn't raise their hands. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So let's go back again. Like, I, 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 maybe you didn't hear what I said. I said, like, I need you for you, not for me. I need you for you to admit where you are. Because once we go back out, my goal is to come here and take you to that next level. So when I came after 212 and I came back, some stuff happened after the next year and the next year. And that's what we hoping to happen again. I feel like coach don't play with me. He bring me in when he know he got a good group and they just need to make a couple adjustments and they go to the Super Bowl. So let's start all over again. You giving 120, bro, flat out. You ain't got no more to give. Let me see your hand. You ain't got no more to give. I see you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm talking about that grind. I get that grind. I'm in schools. I'm giving, I'm going to prisons. I'm doing everything I can. And when I go to bed at night, I hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. I hear it in my head. I hear it like, yep, you getting it, son. Let's go. You giving a hundred percent. Let me see your hand. You giving a hundred percent. Good. Hands down. You giving ninety percent. Yep. I see, bro. Appreciate y'all. Yep. You giving eighty percent. Let me see your hand. Good. Let's talk real quick. What is it gonna take to get to one twenty? I need y'all to talk back to me. I got two more things. What is it gonna take for y'all to give one twenty? What is it gonna take for you to give every single thing you got? What is that gonna take? Well, why aren't you doing that right now? That's the question. I need somebody to help me out. You didn't raise your hand for one twenty. What is that gonna take? Good, consistency. Good, why is it hard to be consistent? Good, mentally. Right, so, so we're gonna have to focus on that. Like when you go back, that's why I'm asking the question. So, so, so I'm gonna get with coach, we do some like mental stuff, right? I wanna help you because you, you, you gotta be mentally strong. So when I do my videos, like people ain't like, E fell off, where he at? No, no, since the time I did it to now, I've been number one for the last five, six years. It's consistency. And so I gotta go to bed at a certain time. I gotta wake up at a certain time. There's certain things I can't eat, certain things I can't watch, certain things I can't do. You feel me? Why? Because I want this as bad as I wanna breathe. Good, what else is keeping us from being 120? Good, it's gotta be what? Good. And let's just be real, for some of y'all, Okay, maybe you don't want to raise your hand, but for some of you, when you reached the goal, it was difficult for you to set another goal. Let's say it like that. 
Let's do this. Be honest with me. Raise your hand if you like your E. I had a goal when I was young to get to the league, and I got to the league. And I'm going to be honest. I made it to the league, and that dog, I ain't got that dog like I used to have it when I was in high school or college. Let me see your hand. Just be honest. It don't mean you ain't got that dog. I'm saying compared to when you was in high school and college and you was trying to get here, you might not got that dog like you had that dog did. Let me see your hand. And let me be real with you. I lost five aunts to cancer in the last 10 years. My mother-in-law was diagnosed with cancer. They sent her home. She just strong and she outlasted. My, my wife, MS, listen to me very closely. Life gonna go on regardless. I just wanna make sure that the life we got left, that is sweeter than the life that if I would give up or if I wasn't focused and I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. So when you've been with somebody since you 16 years old and they got a chronic illness, don't you know it's easy for me to go drink? That it would be easy for me to go drink too. It's rough. My life, it ain't what it used to be before she got sick. Like while God is blessing her, she still got MS. I lost five hours to cancer. You don't think I could have smoked some weed? You don't think I should have took some coke? You don't think I could have got on drugs? You don't think I could have got with other women? Like you don't think when I'm going through that pressure, I couldn't have broke? But you talked about it, mental toughness. It is in those times we have to be stronger than we've ever been before. Why? Because they need us more than they ever needed us before. And you guys are blessed in that you are the one percenters. Not many people want to be in your life who want the life that you have and you got it. And you not taking it serious. Like, you know how many people would die to have this life? You know how many people would die to be on the field on Sunday? You know how many people would die to eat the way y'all eat? You know how many people would die to have the gear y'all got? You know how many people would die to get on these planes and travel the world? You know how many people would die to have your life and you got it? It's your life. You got it. What you going to do with it? So when you talk about that pressure, what happened was when my wife found out she had MS, we was in the hospital and she looked at me and I saw her drop a tear and I looked at her in total mental toughness. We can, we will, and we must get through this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel for more motivational speeches.